The sun suddenly came out, so I decided to come over to the park and get some exercise, but I'm keeping my distance from other people. As you can see, I'm being careful. This walk I decided to go on is turning into a walk down memory lane because I'm thinking about one of the first YA books I ever read, you guys, called 17th Summer by Maureen Daly. It's the first YA book that my mother ever read and even my grandmother read it. Some people say that it's the first YA book ever written. Wow. It was published in 1942 and it's been continuously in print ever since. Check out the original 1942 cover and check out some of the covers since then. For a book to remain in print for that long and appeal to generation after generation of reader really says something, especially for such a simple story about Angie Morrow and Jack Duluth, two teenagers in a small Minnesota lakeside town. Correction, it was set in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, where author Maureen Daly also spent her teenage years. Apologies to Fond du Lac. And they both just graduated from high school. Jack is working at his father's bakery. Angie is getting ready to go to college in the fall. And they're both just getting a taste of what it's like to be independent for the first time. When Maureen Daly wrote this novel, she was just a kid herself practically. I don't know if she was 17, but she was really close to it. I'm gonna look that up when I get home and let you know. And when she died, there was uh, an obituary in the New York Times for her. The obit quotes Miss Daly as saying, I was so wildly and vividly happy about love and life at a particular time in my existence. I wanted to get all that fleeting excitement down on paper before it passed or I forgot the true feelings. If you're looking for a little romance, if you're looking forward to summer, if you're looking for a break just from, you know, life as it is right now, then try 17th Summer. You know who else liked it? Who told me that she read it last year in the library was Miss Summers. Okay, there's kind of a lot of people here, so I'm gonna suit up and um, keep social distancing and keep reading. <laughs> 